Most poached eggs I've seen have been excruciatingly bad. <laughs> yes. Today, I'm going to show you how to do them right, and they're so simple if you follow a few simple rules. OK, okay. you guys ready? Ready. Yes. Yes. Rule number one, Andrew, here's an egg. You want to make sure your egg is fresh. So here's a good test. Bowl of water, mm -hmm. if your egg sinks, it's fresh. Oh. If it starts to oh. float, not as fresh. Doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad, but maybe you want to save that for a scrambled yours egg. So yours is kind of floating. floating. OK, so save not, that for a scrambled egg. Not if yours for my stays poached. down. Mine stays Use down. Use it for a poached egg, and it will stay together and not kind of disintegrate in your water, OK? Oh, good So point. that's a good trick right there. OK. Now, trick number two, I want you to pre-crack your egg into a little vessel. You've got a ramekin, if you've got one of those at home, okay. a measuring cup. You guys have a, a teacup, mm -hmm. a small side bowl kind of thing. And it's easier to do that and control how you drop your egg into the water than to crack it directly into poaching liquid. Oh, while you're going one-handed. Oh, well. No big oh. deal. I'm just that, You know, that's a great lesson. You don't want to crack it from a, from a distance. Oh. You're cracking your yolk, right? You want to maintain your yolk. Andrea, oh my, Andrea oh. did it as well. Yeah, we wow. Steven we just got the shell in there, which is just... We, we can't even be... crack eggs around here. This is That's turning so into sad. a bit of a situation. I was trying to be fancy oh, chef and it didn't no. work. Oh, no, you want to crack low. Okay. And all right. I'm glad okay, we brought this up. Let's try it again. Can I put you this You want to try again? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, by all means, please. Okay. All right, here we go. Because I need one of your eggs. There you go. Now crack it low to your surface. And crack on your... Yeah. There you go. There you go. You've got your yolk. And I'm going to steal one from you. Okay. Now. Trick number two, mm -hmm. uh -huh. or number three, I've got a bunch of them today. <laughs> um, look at the difference of water. We've got boiling water versus poaching, OK? So boiling a hard rolling boil like this mm -hmm. is great for blanching veggies to keep them green and then shocking them in ice water, sauteing them later, right? Boiling is different than poaching. Poaching is at a temperature that it's, it's warm, but it's not boiling. It's not a rolling boil. If I put an egg into a rolling boil, Oh, you get the white goes everywhere. You can see it right eggs. away. Yeah. Oh, yeah, scrambled eggs. So in a restaurant, when you get a nice, tight poached egg, what do you want me to do with this? Oh, that was for your nice warm one. Oh, that's for my nice <laughs> poaching liquid. <laughs> oh. Thank you. You're for just okay? sous chef. It, it won't <laughs> stay together. But for a nice poaching liquid, you want to see those nice little bubbles at the bottom. Yep. And, and this is really what a poach is all about. A little splash of vinegar helps coagulate the white. And okay. sometimes, yeah. in some restaurants, you'll taste a poached egg that it's like too vinegary. Tart, yeah. You don't need a mountain of vinegar. You just need a little splash to keep the white and the protein in the white together, together. right? Cool. Okay. Now, another little trick, you can create a little... A little vortex. Typhoon, a little vortex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that'll allow the white to kind of roll in itself. And then you put it in the center of the... And then you the drop like that. And you can see the white is starting to oh, enclose okay. itself in the egg. Oh, yeah. You see that? It, oh, yeah. Uh, you, obviously, you do oh, one beautiful. at a time. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Are you happy? It's like a magic this trick. Like look at my magic. Juice. Now look at my boil made, versus my poach. You have made so many things on this show, and yet that <laughs> just made me stand up and applause. That's You're impressive. very excited. Now don't yeah. be shy also to just nudge it so it doesn't stick to the bottom. And this is going to poach three minutes. You should have a nice, soft, runny yolk, OK? Two and a half, three, three and change, depending how firm you like it. Okay. But feel free to test with your finger. Now you see, I did a trick here. Let's say I have you guys over for brunch and I'm feeding eight people. Yeah. I'm not going to poach, you know, 16 eggs in here. I'll be here all day. It's a disaster. You can pre-poach. Oh. Believe it or not, look, I've stored them in a little bit of water. You can pre-poach, mm -hmm. store them in some water. Mm -hmm. You can see I've under-poached this maybe by 30 seconds or whatever. So you put it back oh. in the water? You put it back in the water. I'm bringing it back basically to temperature to finish cooking just the last few seconds. And look, I'm not losing sight of my little egg. Now, Andrew, you're going to give me a, an English muffin here. Yes, dear. Look at my boiled some one. It's just a nightmare. Mm. Oh, right. Yeah, that's yeah. some oh. egg soup. Okay, whatever now. you like. Some cheese, microgreens, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Tomato. Ooh, okay, delicious. now it's time to serve. So I've got everyone at my table. Boom, it's been in there 30 seconds kind of thing. It's warm. I can feel now. I can see it's still soft. It's going to ooze for me. I'm going to dry it real quick on my towel. This oh, is so awesome. much more There's delicious the water. looking this, than this. the drive through McMuffin. Boom. <laughs> you ready for the money shot? Yeah. Just put it on top? Go for it. Okay. I don't okay, want should we crack it in half? Yes, let's crack it. This is what you want to see. Oh, it's already oozing. Oh, oozing. Mm. Oh, that looks hey, good here. English muffin skills. Good English I heard muffin. that. And that's what you want to see, a nice runny yolk and uh, Perfect. That wow. looks delicious. Here. Ugh. Wow. That so mm. good. Looks oh. fantastic. So delicious. Cheers. Mm. Do you love food? Do you love me? If you said yes to both of these things, you're in love. And if you said yes to one of these things, shame on you. I'm adorable. Hit subscribe right now for new and exciting recipes, trends, and much more, especially from me.